Welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing how you can change an image, one, two, three, four, five, after any number of clicks. And I can do that multiple times. So let's get started. To start off, let's first make the image. So you can do that by right clicking, going down to UI, and we're going to select image. This will create a canvas automatically for us. I would personally scale it to screen size so that when you work on it, if on different platforms, everything is scaled properly. Now, we're actually not going to be changing images. We're just going to be changing the source image component of the image. So what this is, is a sprite, which is essentially what we see. Now, in terms of what sprites we want, that's up to you. So I just have a couple of shape sprites as samples. I created those by right clicking, create 2D sprites, and I selected square, circle, capsule, and diamond. So to show what I mean is, let's say I were to change this source image to circle, it becomes a circle. If I were to change the source image to capsule, it becomes a capsule. So it's still confined within the box of the image as we saw before, but it's going to look like whatever sprite we put in. So why don't we, let's say, start with our square. So when you do create your sprites, make sure that their type is sprite. So a lot of the times when you add an image, for example, like a PNG or a JPEG into Unity, it will be default. Make sure to change it to sprite. And then whenever you make a change, it's going to ask you to apply. In this case, I didn't actually change anything, so it wouldn't apply. Make sure to apply that. And then we need to create our script to make the change. So you can do that by right clicking, create C sharp. I already created mine, it's called change image. So first, because we are gonna be working with an image that's part of the UI, we need to import this library, which is gonna allow us to use UI. First thing, we're gonna create our image. So we're gonna tell it what image we are changing. Then I'm going to create a list with my different sprites. So this is going to be the different choices of sprites that I want to rotate through. Next, I'm going to create two private variables, one counter of how many times I've clicked it. And then this one is going to keep track of which sprite I'm currently on. We're going to use a method to actually do this counting and changing. I called it next sprite. You can call it whatever you want. First thing, whenever I click on that sprite, that image, I want to update the counter. This print counter is just for me to check to make sure that everything's working. You do not need this line 28. Now line 29 is where I'm saying after five clicks, so this number is up to you, I want to change sprites and then I have to reset my counter. This checks to make sure that when we increase our current sprite, it's not going beyond our number of choices. So if I have only three different sprite choices, if current sprite's at four, I need it to go back to zero. And then here is where we actually do the assigning. So make sure to save this and let's head back. It's saving. So then now I need to assign the script. I'm gonna assign it to my canvas. This way, if I had multiple images, they could all access it, but that's fine. Now I'm going to tell it what image I'm using and then my sprite choices. I have four different sprites actually, so I'm going to change this to four choices, create the list, and then I'm going to place in each of my four sprites. So these are the four sprites I'm going to rotate between. Again, you don't need four, you can make it fewer or more. And then next, I'm going to go to the image. So then I can create a add a component called event trigger. This is essentially going to say what I want to actually happen. So when the pointers clicked on the image, so I've created this component on the image, I want something to happen. Well, I want our the method that we just wrote, which we just attached to the canvas. We just did that. So I'm going to select the canvas the name of our script, which is change image, and then the name of our method, which was next sprite. Now I can test, and then our console is gonna tell us how many clicks we've had so we can keep track. So every five clicks, I should be changing. So now we can see our console. So one, 
so that, that just that just got me into the scene so one two three four five and i've changed shape one two three four five change shape one two three four five and then now i should be heading back to my original thank you so much for watching this video i hope this has been really helpful and that you can implement this into your own project